Hello, this is Dr. Hana Asil, and this is questions and answers about organic synthesis. This is from questions in unit 5 of the A2 uh, Pearson and Excel chemistry. So let's take a look at some questions of organic synthesis and one of the reagents that we are required to use is the Grignard reagent. I will remind you that the Grignard reagent is formed from, for example, an alkyl halide and magnesium in presence of ether. This would give what we call the Grignard reagent, which is the ethyl magnesium halide. I can use this to react to add substances to an organic compound. For example, if I react my Grignard reagent with water, the question says Grignard reagents react with which of these? Well, we should know that when we react Grignard reagent, which is the RMGCL, for example, if I react it with water, what we get is the alkene. So remember, Grignard reagents with water produces the alkenes. What if we do it with aldehydes? Well, that depends which type of aldehyde we're talking about. So if we're talking about methanol, for example, methanol will give a primary alcohol with the Grignard reagent. Um, if we use uh, something like uh, an, a, a longer chain aldehyde, then this would give a secondary alcohol. So when the choice in B says all aldehydes give secondary alcohols, no, actually they could give primary or secondary alcohol. What about if I react a Grignard reagent with a ketone? Well, a Grignard reagent with a ketone would give tertiary alcohol, not secondary, so that choice is wrong. Now, what about reaction with carbon dioxide? Yes, the re, uh, Grignard reagent with carbon dioxide produces carboxylic acids. So, please remember all of this about the Grignard reagent and we're going to be using them. So, this is an example of a question on organic synthesis. The question says, devise a reaction scheme to produce benzoic acid from benzene. So we're trying to make benzoic acid from benzene via bromobenzene and then a Grignard reagent. So we're given benzene and we're required to go through bromobenzene, Grignard reagent, and then produce uh, benzoic acid. Include the reagents and essential conditions and give the name or structure of each of the intermediate compounds. So, starting from benzene, what should we do to change it into bromobenzene? So, to add bromine on a benzene ring, I want to make bromobenzene. Yes, we react the benzene ring with bromine in presence of anhydrous iron 3 bromide as a catalyst. This will uh, do what we call electrophilic substitution and we put the bromine on the benzene ring. So that's bromobenzene. Now, how can we use this to make a Grignard? We said to make a Grignard, we add magnesium in presence of dry ether. That gives me the Grignard reagent, how do I change that into an acid? We said to get an acid, we react it with carbon dioxide, then HCl. This will put COOH on the benzene ring. Devise a synthesis to convert bromobenzene into benzamide. We're trying to change bromobenzene into benzamide, again, include reagents, conditions, and structures of the intermediate compounds. So starting from bromobenzene, we need to add an extra carbon. Usually you look at the product and you determine what is required to be added to the initial compound. So I have bromobenzene. What should we do? We could do Grignard. So we react the bromobenzene with magnesium in dry ether. It gives the Grignard reagent. And then 
we said we react this with carbon dioxide then HCl it gives the benzoic acid now how do I change that into an amide well we have several methods I can either make the uh, acyl chloride by reacting it with phosphorus pentachloride and then to change it to the required product we add ammonia to the acyl chloride okay devise a reaction scheme to prepare 2-methylbutuene so we're trying to make 2-methylbutuene from butanone using no more than four steps identify the reagents essential conditions and so on so we're starting from butanone now we look at the required product what are we trying to do this is a product that has an extra carbon so we need to add an extra carbon somehow and we need to get a double bond which we can usually get from uh, dehydration of an alcohol so starting from butanone i need to add an extra carbon so i can prepare the uh, grignard reagent i need an extra carbon so i prepare it from methyl bromide in magnesium and dry ether it gives the grignard then i can react this grignard with butanone so in this case we have added the extra carbon that we need and we change the carbonyl into an OH group so that I can then put concentrated phosphoric acid or concentrated sulfuric acid and heat uh, or several other methods to remove the H and OH dehydration to form an alkene. Are we getting this? Okay, what about this simple two-step process we're starting from benzene and we're trying to make phenylamine again what can we do if I want to put an amine on a benzene ring we said before that we could actually react the benzene with concentrated nitric acid concentrated sulfuric acid 55 degrees Celsius and we get the nitrobenzene so my compound a the intermediate would be nitrobenzene and then how do I change that to an amine, the nitrobenzene to phenylamine? We said we use tin in presence of HCl. Please make sure to include the conditions necessary for the reaction. To prepare benzene dicarboxylic acid, we want to make it from methyl benzene. Well, we look at the product and we find that there is an extra carbon on the neighboring carbon of the benzene ring. And that means I can put methyl chloride in presence of aluminum chloride. That adds another methyl group to the benzene ring. Then how do we change uh, the methyl group to the carboxylic acid group? This is using alkaline potassium permanganate this changes methyl benzene to benzoic acid so it would oxidize both methyl groups to form two carboxylic acids phenyl benzoate that's the product down there is present in many asthma drugs outline how a chemist could synthesize a sample of this compound in three or four steps Remember that our organic synthesis in unit 5 is maximum 4 steps. Using benzaldehyde, so we're going to start with that benzaldehyde as the only organic compound. So let's look at the product that we're trying to make. Actually, this product is an ester. And it's an ester that has two phenyl groups. So there is a phenyl group or a benzene ring uh, that has a C double bond O. And the other part on the right is a benzene ring that has another carbon on it. So how do we prepare that? From benzaldehyde, the first thing I could do is I could oxidize the aldehyde to give the acid. So this is potassium dichromate in presence of sulfuric acid. This gives the benzoic acid. And I can also try to make the other one 
which is the other benzene ring with an extra carbon. So I can have the benzaldehyde reduction using lithium aluminum hydride and dry ether that gives the benzene with the extra carbon and the OH. Now I can react them together. So if I react the benzoic acid with the phenyl methanol, this in presence, of course, this is esterification. So this is in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. This gives the product. Devise a synthesis of N-phenyl ethyl ethanamide. So that's that product on the right from bromomethyl benzene without the use of a Grignard reagent. Now here we're specifying we do not want Grignard reagent. So, what should we do? We look at the product and we see what is the difference between what we're starting with and the product. So, if I take the bromomethyl benzene and I add KCN in presence of aqueous ethanol, that would give the extra carbon that is needed to form the product. So, this gives my nitrile or the cyanide this is extra carbon, then I can uh, reduce this lithium aluminum hydride in dry ether, then dilute hydrochloric acid. This reduces the CN group to form an amine. So now we have added that part as an amine. How do I get the final product? Well, the final product would be the reaction of this amine with what? With the ethanoyl chloride that would give the product that is required. So please think with respect to what you're trying to make and what we're trying to add to the original reagent. Anethol was synthesized from 4-methoxypropiophenone, which he gives the formula in three steps. So we want to prepare it in three steps. And the question specifies that one of the intermediate compounds must contain a chlorine atom. So starting from that compound on the left, what should I do to get anethol? Well, let's see what is the difference between that compound we're starting with and the final product. I need a double bond instead of the C double bond O. So actually I could do reduction to form the alcohol and then PCL5 because um, the question mentions that we need an intermediate that has a chlorine atom. So if I do the alcohol with PCL5, I get the halogenoalkane and then I react it with alcoholic KOH in presence of heat. This is dehydrohalogenation, elimination of H and Cl to form the double bond. Okay. An incomplete synthesis for methyl red. So the one down, that product at the end down is methyl red starting from two nitrobenzaldehyde. So we're starting from two nitrobenzaldehyde and we're going through this synthesis and we also have phenylamine that we're starting with. So let's start from two nitrobenzaldehyde. The question gives me that the first step is changing the aldehyde group into an acid. So how do we do that? To change the aldehyde group to an acid that's oxidation. So potassium dichromate, sulfuric acid, heat under reflux, that would change the aldehyde part into the acid. Now, if we take that compound that's formed with the nitro group on the benzene ring and we add tin in presence of concentrated HCl heat under reflux, what is compound A? Remember tin in presence of HCl changes the nitro to an amino group. Then I want to change it into that compound. Uh, that is the diazonium salt. How do we change an amine to a diazonium salt? Remember, we add 
sodium nitrite in presence of HCl and 5 degrees Celsius. So that gives that diazonium salt. Now we're going to react it with compound B. What is compound B? Compound B is made from the phenyl amine and excess methyl iodide. Remember, if I have an amine and I react it with a methyl iodide or a halogenoalkane, this is added to the NH2 to form the substituted amino group. So if we have excess, we're going to substitute the two hydrogens on the amino group with two methyl groups. So that now gives the part that we need in the final product. If we react these two together, again, what are the conditions to react the diazonium salt with the other compound? This is in presence of sodium hydroxide and all of this five degree Celsius. Remember, we need five degrees Celsius for any reactions involving diazonium salts because the salt will decompose or break up at higher temperatures. Devise a synthesis of F using salicylaldehyde and bromoethane. So I have salicylaldehyde, which is given, and a bromoethane as the only starting material. How do we go from the salicylaldehyde to compound F? Again, I look at compound F and I see what is the part that is added to form compound F? Well, obviously, this is the new part. Now, how do I uh, add this part that has two carbons? I can get it from Grignard. So I have bromoethane, magnesium in dry ether, reflux. This gives the Grignard reagent. And then I can react the Grignard reagent with the salicylaldehyde. And we said this means the two carbons will be added to the carbonyl group and the carbonyl becomes an alcohol. Now, how do we get the final product? If we do dehydration, concentrated phosphoric acid and heat, we get the double bond that is required. Devise a synthesis to convert butene, so we're starting from butene, to form this final product, which is an ester, ethyl 2 methyl butanoate, and we are required to do it in four steps. How do we start? We're starting with the butene, so you can see that the butene is that part on the right. Now, what do we do? We can put HBr, so that changes it into a bromoalkane, uh, react it with KCN in presence of aqueous ethanol, that would uh, change the BR into a cyanide group, so that adds that extra carbon on that part on the right, and dilute hydrochloric acid, I got the acid part. Now, I need to form the ester, so the ester will react with what? The ester will react with ethanol in presence of sulfuric acid that forms the required product. Devise a reaction scheme to prepare propane one all from butanone. So again, we're starting with butanone, but we're trying to make propane one all using no more than four steps. Again, let's look at what we're trying to do. We're starting with something that has four carbons, and I want to end up with three carbons. So, you should remember the iodoform test. What is the iodoform test? If I have a methyl group next to a carbonyl on the end of the chain, then iodine in presence of sodium hydroxide will cut off that extra carbon after the carbonyl, and it will change it into the sodium salt. So now we prepare the sodium salt that has three carbons. Now I can, first of all, acidify it to get the acid. And then how do we get the final product? Remember, reduction of the acid using lithium aluminum hydride and dry ether. This would give the required alcohol.
Again, this question says mandelic acid, which is this compound, uh, has a long history of medical use as an antibiotic and as a component of some cosmetic face creams. Mandelic acid can be synthesized from benzene. So we're trying, uh, we're starting from benzene. And then after we make mandelic acid, uh, the question says there is another compound called cyclandelate that can be synthesized from the mandelic acid. So let's start from benzene and try to make the mandelic acid. Of course, the first thing we look at the mandelic acid and decide what are we adding to the benzene ring. Well, we can add one carbon with an oxygen somewhere. So that means I can change it into benzaldehyde. How do I change benzene to benzaldehyde? Remember, if I'm trying to add a carbonyl group on the benzene ring, we react it with an acyl chloride. So in this case, it will be methanoyl chloride in presence of an anhydrous aluminum chloride that would give the benzaldehyde. Then I need to add that extra part. So how do I add a, a nitrile uh, part so that we make the cyanohydrin? What should we add? Well, let's see. We should add KCN in presence of HCN. Then the cyanide group attacks the carbonyl, changes it into an OH, and we're adding the extra carbon that is required. How do we go from the cyanohydrin to the part that has the acid? Well, we hydrolyze that using acid in presence of HCl. That would change the uh, cyanide group or the nitrile group into an acid. Then how do we go from mandelic acid to cyclandelate? Well, obviously the final product there is an ester that needs to add what? We need to add this part as an alcohol to the mandelic acid. Of course, this is esterification. Again, concentrated sulfuric acid, heat under reflux, this gives the final ester. Azovilet, which is the compound at the bottom there, is synthesized from nitrobenzene in four steps. How do we go from nitrobenzene to the azovilet? Well, I take a look at the final product and I find that the nitrobenzene is the part on the right. I need to add all the rest in order to get the product. So how do we do that? First, I can do nit chlorine with uh, aluminum chloride that adds a chlorine on the benzene ring. Then how do I change this into something that has a nitrogen? I can put ammonia. The ammonia replaces the chlorine and we get one amino for nitro benzene. Then what? Then we try to make the diazonium salt. We said, how do we make this diazonium salt? We add sodium nitrite in HCl, which would form HNO2 at 5 degrees Celsius. This makes the diazonium salt. Now, how do we get to the product? We add that extra part that is added to the second nitrogen. So this, if we react it in presence of what? In presence of sodium hydroxide, five degrees Celsius, this would give the final product. I this question says Sudan 1 is an intense orange-red azo dye that is used to color waxes, oils, and polishes. It can be prepared from benzene. So we're starting from benzene and we want to make that product down there. So how do we get to Sudan 1 from the benzene? Well, let's take a look. What are we adding to the benzene? If we say that the benzene that we're starting with is that benzene on the left, then I need to add all that that is on the right to get my product. And that means I need to start by adding a nitrogen. 
atom on the benzene ring. How do we put something that has nitrogen on the benzene ring? Well, yes, we prepare nitrobenzene by reacting it with concentrated nitric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, 55 degrees Celsius. That makes the nitrobenzene. Then what? I need to make, obviously, the Sudan 1 was made from a diazonium salt. So I need to change the NO2 into an amine group. How do we change nitro to amino? Then we add tin in presence of Kong HCl, changes the nitrobenzene to phenylamine. Then we need to make the diazonium salt. We said, how do we make diazonium salt? Sodium nitrite, HCl, 5 degrees Celsius, that changes the amino group into a diazonium salt. And then I can react it with the, the rest of the compound that is required. So I need to add the part that has the two benzene rings together. So this part is added to the diazonium salt, of course. The conditions for that is sodium hydroxide and 5 degrees Celsius that gives the required product and that's the end of this part uh, questions and answers on organic synthesis i hope this is um, much clearer and much easier to do now um, and thank you for listening